Welcome back to One Non Blonde. And I've got Andre again this week. How are you doing, Andre? I'm feeling good and hope you do too. And uh, it's a beautiful blue sky and bright sunshine, which uh, makes us all run around here in Los Angeles like a roasted chicken. <laughs> Yes, uh, we just uh, we got through with Elsa from I was last week, and uh, thank God nothing really major. I uh, we did a lot of preparing, which I was just going to talk to you about today. You know, like a little bit of like you know we're we're so so caught up in everything that we we over prepare, and then we're not just kind of taking it one step at a time. So I did some preparing, and it was calm. I lost power for a couple hours, which wasn't too bad. I I can live with that. So. It was good for me because I was breathing. I was listening to you because I was preparing, but yet I didn't over amp. Like I didn't think I had to go, you know, put boards on the windows or anything like that. And not that I'm not looking at safety is not important, but I had to evaluate what was going on and not over stimulate and over um, think things yeah, and make it and more complicated. Not let it accelerate to hysterical, you know? Yeah. And that's where we talked about fear. But I don't want to talk today about fear. We, we talked a lot about fear. And uh, it's difficult for people sometimes to see where it is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as we, if we move on with our entertaining educational program, or, or they even can contact me and I can guide them to their fears and we can get rid of it. I want to talk about something a little bit more uplifting. Uh, I want to talk about the word, the action, the mindset of simple. And uh, I know what simple is. Well, the first step to simple, what is that? I don't know. I mean, taking take a lot of things away. Out. Yeah, like I just did my storm prep. I mean, it's simple. <laughs> take the complications out. And it's say, well, it's easy said, it's easy said, it's harder done, no. Is it's easy done, it's said. If you really want it, you can get it, you know? And uh, we also have to consider what happened the last 18 months and even before. People have mixed emotions. People are aiming for something they think for the moment it will do good for them. Uh, I spend some time on social media every day because I do my postings and I can see clearly that people have developed kind of a hate love to each other. Mm -hmm. um, that's the posting. A strong woman will always love her man, but don't screw me up. I'm going to chase you down to the end of the world. So you declare love with a threat. And that's not the only, you, you can see millions of that. Uh, uh, if, if, if you uh, uh, wanna uh, criticize me, I help you pack. What does it say? If you wanna criticize me, I help you pack. So it says, I don't take anything. I throw it right back at you even worse. I help you get back. Yeah. So the willingness to improve in the community, subconscious became aggressive. Really look at the most post things on even LinkedIn, on, on any social media. There's always kind of a hidden aggression in it. And no matter how hidden it is, it is there. I agree. So simplifying it means, hey, I really want peace of mind. How do I get peace of mind? What is complicated in a day? I just go presently. When we started you this, your microphone doesn't work right. It works beautiful without the microphone that it has to do with the word problem as well. Mm -hmm. We threw out there this word problem, like we get discount on it. Uh, I have a problem with it. There's a problem with it. 
actually the word problem is a difficult situation, a challenge. Because there is no real problem if there are solutions. And as I said in the past, for each problem, throw each problem at me you want, I at least have two solutions. The only art is to choose the right solution. And that has to do how I retrain my mind. Mm -hmm. And that is simple as well. Uh, we have to go back to some basics here in, in our society. Uh, when I see, I saw a posting this morning, I'm single and unhappy. And if you come into my life, I tell you to fuck off. Now, how much aggression is in that? A lot. A this, lot. This person might have been disappointed, yes. But throw it out there and bleed on everybody. It's just not right. Yeah. It makes you look not like a very <clears throat> comfortable person. Uh, it shows, actually, we talked about the big issue a lot of people have in denying it of their own insecurities. You think when you attack, people don't see your insecurity. The attack is already the insecurity. Why attack if I don't have to? Mm -hmm. Make it simple here, too. Say, okay, what do I have to tell you, Kim? I have to tell you A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Kim thinks about it and says, okay, I agree with A, I agree with C, but to B, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So you ask that question, I give you an answer. If you, Kim, would be in denial of everything I said, there is no simple way of communicating. There's only one thing not to communicate. Truth. And that makes it simple too. Yeah. If a person don't get you and you cannot get that person, there's something missing. And if there is something missing, well, you can find it or not. Again, problem to solutions. We can find it or not. Uh, we can communicate on a canvas, how you doing, how is your roof, how is your dog, how is that? Or if people start getting it, we can communicate a little bit deeper. You know, how you're feeling today? Why are you feeling this way today? Oh, I'm sorry. We can go in depth. It's up to us. Mm -hmm. but, but I think it's only worth to make it simple with people. They're willing to make it simple too. And not if... Uh, you say something, look at their manual, how to develop a drama out of it. How, may, how do I make a drama out of everything? And that has a lot to do, again, with simple. Why make a drama? Why? Because you're insecure. I was going to say, I, I, I to, yeah. I try to yeah. cover up. I try to cover up. Mm hmm this, so what is making it complicated? First of all, ego, insecurity, missing self-esteem, bad communication, and doubts within myself about myself. Those five things make it complicated. Yeah. So. We are all unique species and uh, grew up differently and, and, and developed in our life differently. But we all can improve our self-esteem and our security by becoming aware who we are and where our limits are. And knowing our limits is already a big lump we take out of complications, not getting involved or trying to get involved in something we're not familiar with. Admitting it, admitting it and being aware. If you tell me something about church administration, I have to listen. I have no idea. I have no idea. 
There's nothing wrong to say, hey, listen, you have to explain it to me. I don't understand it. I'm not in it. Mm -hmm. If I tell you something about fear or, or relationships, if you would start lecturing me, I would sit back and laugh. And I said, uh, how long did you do it? How much did you do it? And how deep do you do it? And uh, even here, there's a difference, a big mm -hmm. difference. There's people, they have the gift without the education to do certain things, to listen to people, to comfort them. And uh, there's some people, they study that their whole life, they never get it. They cannot help people because mm -hmm. what they need for that is compassion and understanding besides the education. We need to develop a rapport to people. And that is simple too. That is very simple too. Uh, if I take the cash register out of my heart and uh, look at people as they are, it makes it already simpler. And it makes it also more enjoyable and more successful. When I have somebody on Zoom the first time, I look at them, they look at me. And on the end of the first session, I can pretty much determine if that person connects with me or not, or I connect with that person. If there is in the first session, big difficulties, it makes no sense to continue. The person has to find somebody else, I have to find somebody else to work with. Very simple as that, simple as that. If there is no connection, there is no connection. Then you turn Zoom on and you talk for a half an hour with a person and you both have the feeling you get each other. And that's when you can work with people successfully. Okay, and that's why I, I'm saying uh, it, is, it is a very individual business, very, very individual business. And if you don't have compassion, if you don't have the feelings, if you really can help or not, if you can lead this person in the right direction or not, don't do it. No matter uh, how many degrees you have, if, if you don't have it in you. And now going back to the example first, some people have it in them. Okay, then do it, but educate yourself more because there is really uh, a big responsibility when you work with people. When you work with their mind, when you work with their progress, it's a big responsibility. And you have to realize, and I say it again and again, one size doesn't it on. If you don't want to go through the work to get to know somebody, that's when it becomes complicated. If you have the willingness to say, I want to get that. I want to get Kim. I want to get Andre. I want to get George. I want to get Mary. If, if you don't go that <laughs> slow, there's no progress. Mm -hmm. And so, and then we say there is a problem. There is no problem. Make it simple. Can I connect? Can I get it? Can I progress? Okay. So the P of problem, we make it simple. We forget that. Then is the scenario complicating it procrastinating, developing a scenario, what you think it is or it could be. And when you work it in your mind long enough, it becomes in your mind a fact. And that's when it becomes complicated because here is a fact in your mind and here's the real fact in life. Uh, Mike, you drove my car yesterday. Pardon me? Yes, uh, because it, it didn't park like I parked it and, and there was no dust on it. So what does the park, car doesn't park like you did it? Scenario, Mike drove the car. So Mike takes the complications out. 
and says, listen, honey, do I have your car key? Uh, I don't know. No, do I have your car key? I don't think so. So how can I drive your car if I don't have the car key? So the scenario for one side became Mike drove the car and Mike says, okay, I breathe and let's see the facts. How can I drive your car without the car? But it's only just one example. When we create scenarios in our mind and, and this complications are, we underestimate the complications we put with procrastinating, with uh, picking something. Um, and social media is the perfect example. You post something and two people get offended because they think you posted it about them. Mm -hmm. they see it as, <clears throat> how can that happen? Because they did something where they identify what you posted with them. You don't even haven't talked to them for weeks. We don't even you don't even know what to do in their private life. But it fits in the moment they put the shoe on. You put out there. You say uh, everybody who doesn't use deodorant should not ride the bus, and they forgot the deodorant. How can you say something like that? And I always have to, and they start laying into you. It was a general statement. Mm -hmm. They put it on them because there's the insecurity. How should I know if a social media member in Chicago or New York has the order around when I'm in Los Angeles? But the moment was fitting for them and they started progressing. That's why they got offended. That's why they got aggressive. That's why they got all wind up. Not knowing when they stepped out of bed, it was already the wrong foot, <laughs> the wrong side of the bed. And that's, it's another thing of complications. When we get up, we have to check our mind, how we get up. Because how we get up, and I can prove that on studies, the first 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes determine our whole day. Oh, I, be I, I believe it. I, I truly, yeah, I can see that. I can see that with um, my own, you know, my own self, but also like, like you said, even like, you know, raising kids. You could tell what kind of day you were going to have with them within the first 10, 15 minutes, you know, um, and like you said, trying to redirect, especially little kids. But I think even as adults, I don't think we even we don't realize what we're putting on when we when we start off the day before we even get out of our feet off the off the ground, off, off out of the bed, how our attitude is. Right, right. And sometimes it helps us when we change your routine, make it simple. Mm -hmm. If you routine, if you wake up one week or two weeks, not feeling good, change your routine. Now, people always say when you podcast, everything is so theoretical. I give some practical advice right now, very practical. Take a piece of paper or on your phone and put a little morning note on it for you. It helps and it works. Read on your phone or anything, Good morning, Kim. Tell yourself good morning. It's going to be a good day. And maybe it turns into great. And whatever you feel, a third sentence too. I don't let negativity take me off track today. Three sentences, they make sense to you. When you open your eyes, Look on your phone or on your on your note and do that. That done every morning will really help you to reset it. I mean, so, so I still don't feel right. Then check very simple your schedule. Maybe you need your coffee before the shower. Maybe you need your shower before the coffee. Change your routine to change your mindset to change your moods. And, uh, oh yeah, I do that. Make it simple, manifest it. If you change 
you add it to your mind to positive, not just for the moment. The more you repeat it, the more it becomes a routine in the positive routine. So make it simple, make it a positive routine for you. Tell yourself, hey, I look like hell today, but after the shower, I will feel and look great again. Which is true. I tell you, people know it. After you take a shower, you feel like a new person. Oh yeah, almost definitely. So if you wake up in a bad mood, or not bad mood, bad sleep, and your mind didn't let you sleep much or whatever it was, no, don't do the coffee first, do the shower first. So you feel good. And then the coffee will continue and then it continues, change up your routine, make it simple. See how you feel comfortable. Well, I feel comfortable how what I'm able to do. Well, why are you miserable? Again, take the complications out. Why the questions? Why are you feeling this? Because uh, the world is just full of crap. Well, you're part of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I just think uh, my job doesn't fit me anymore. Why not? Maybe you don't fit the job anymore. Maybe you have outgrown it and need to move on to more responsibility, maybe even to a different industry. And here, another practice you can do yourself at home. Sit yourself down with pro and cons, what you do now, what is the pro of it, what is the con of it. And I can see every, well, it pays my bills, number one. That is great. But for how long if you're unhappy? No, I agree. Find something, it will pay your bills, but you're happier in it. Well, why should I have a thousand bucks less a month? Very simple. You do it for two, three months. When you love what you do, you make up for that because you get more productive. So take the complications out. It's complicated when I go to work because uh, the security guard just has a face like a shoe. I step in and I feel good, you know? Uh, when I go on my desk, I don't know, that's such an ugly gray color. I, I cannot see this desk anymore. So you, you see this negativity, you feed yourself, take this negativity out and says, well, I go, security guard, I'm happy I don't look like him. <laughs> Okay, you go to your desk, well, gray is neutral color. Let's see how much longer I have to look at it. I'm gonna look for something else. So both statements take already complications because it's fact. You don't like the security guard. Well, be happy you don't look like him. Be happy you like yourself and I hope you do it. So taking all these complications out it's, it's a process. It's really a process. Because we established over the years our new pattern and pattern became part of our life. Our habits became part of our life. And we don't even know they don't fit us anymore because we have grown, but it doesn't show when we hold on to the old pattern. <clears throat> Make sense? It makes a lot of sense. I was just thinking, you know, we were talking and I'm listening to you. And one of the things that it's something simple, back to simple, but something that since I've been working with you and talking with you, I used to, I would say four, three to four times a week, easily. I didn't have time for lunch. I was too busy for work. I couldn't make time for lunch because our conversations and Again, back to allowing myself to change my attitude, change my environment. I make sure that I pack a lunch. And maybe if it's things small, I have, and I make sure I do that. I, because 
I remember it was like, like one of our first episodes, you said, there's no excuse for not having lunch. There's no excuse for, you know, making yourself, allowing yourself to stay in a bad rut. If you're, if that's something that you're doing, it's not allowing you to grow. It's not allowing you to really see where you need to be productive. And, and I know it's something like, like you said, it's something as simple as that one step of taking lunch. It's the same, like you just said about, well, I look at my desk, I'm like, okay, then maybe I need to start looking about where do I need to go next? And again, it's, a, I know that you're saying that people are saying that this is kind of, um, you're not giving practical advice. You are giving a practical advice. You're giving real world scenarios. People just need to look, look beyond just a, a vague uh, example and start seeing themselves in that reflection of what you're saying, because we all have that. And so a thank you so much for that, because it really is important what you're saying, because it does help us to move forward into this positive, simple, more of a way of life. Yeah, I agree with you. And uh, it has to do, sadly, that we get more and more in denial. Mm -hmm. That we're more and more afraid, really afraid, it comes back to fear, of other people. Okay. What would this person think about me? Hey, how important is that person? No, there's a difference. If your husband, your kids, your brother, your sister, you're in a circle, it's important what they think, but they can give you feedback. Mm -hmm. If you go on the outside, does it really matter? Isn't it important? that we build our inner circle in the society we have now and extend it. We can always extend our, excuse me, inner circle. Nobody says no. Make it simple. How many people are in your inner circle? Five, six, seven? If somebody earns that step in the inner circle, you have eight or nine. Where is the problem? But it has to be earned. It's not given this inner circle. The next circle is given. So if I am uh, shaving my head tomorrow, and some people say, what is going on with him? Going on with him? Going, is it important? First of all, it's my head. OK? It's my hair I shaved down. Mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. run around with it. Why are you getting upset? Did I shave off your head? No, mine. You see how we complicate things. And uh, sometimes I say to people, you know, by the way, if you're looking for your nose, I found it. It's in other people's business. Keep no. your nose in our business first. In, 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 the, in our people, we have and we want to communicate this. Keep our nose there. Tell your husband, you're losing weight, you're gaining weight. Is it still good for your health? Or you have to go outside now and wear a hat because the sun is a thing. These are mindful things we suggest. But people try to control because they are out of control themselves. Their insecurity brings problematic in, Pro not problems, problematic in their thinking, uh, brings in their own insecurity, elevates, because when you have to attack, when you have to doubt every day, when you have to question everything every day, how much stress is it? Is it made simple? No. You put complications in where none needed. Uh, I go back to talking to people. Talking to people is a simple step to do it. Kim, do you have time today? Of course. Okay. Always for you, Andre. Okay. So, okay, I have time too. Uh, does your husband have time too? Not right now, he's working. But yeah, no, I, I get it. I mean, that's... What we need to do is we need to be more direct, direct. Don't sit around the bush. Yeah. Around the bush. I don't mean the president, but around the around the bush. 
is never a way to avoid complications. Indirect to say, it's rude. What is rude when I say, you know, maybe your husband has later tied too, so we may, maybe all three want to meet up. Let's let's talk to your husband and give me a text or a call later on and see when, when we can meet up. Direct. Mm -hmm. Give me a call, let me know when we three can meet up for dinner. Is there a complication in there? No, but I think it's people simple. try to make it. It's, but yeah, people want to make it something that's not. I was thinking, you know, and um, here's an example. And again, back to world, real world example. You know, um, when you're doing your job, and let's say you're in a in a in a um, situation where you're in a, a a cubicle area or something where you see more than just one person in production, and you're constantly seeing, oh, well, this person gets away with it. I don't know how this person gets away with that. Why is that? I, I work so hard and I don't get away with what they get away with. And, and I get, I don't understand why, you know, and, and I hear this a lot, trust me. And I, I'll say, well, first of all, you don't know what the other person's situation is. Second of all, you don't know if they're getting away with it. And so, you know, um, a person was like having a really hard time. She's like, oh, I'm working hard. And she called her Barbie princess. Barbie princess gets away with everything because, oh, she's so perky and she's so this and everybody likes her so much more and I'm not going to play those games. And it would be constant. And then guess what? Barbie princess ended up getting let go because Barbie princess kept calling out sick. But this person kept saying, oh, well, she's getting away with it. I'm here working and that Barbie princess doesn't have to worry about going to work. And, I don't know. and it's like, and again, we are so caught up <laughs> in our own like I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm not getting a reward. And look at this person who's getting a reward. We don't even know if that person's getting a reward or not. We are so much putting too much complication, not having a direct thing. Go to your boss, say, you know, what can I do to improve my production? How do I make myself a better employee? Instead of kind of putting in all your eggs and complications of watching another employee and it's not good me personally I share I'll share myself I had a boss I was like a supervisor at one of the jobs I was at and no matter what I did I would like do everything that I could and again we're back to the I I, I. she and I just didn't see eye to eye and, and I would and I would be like well I understand why I kept saying why why, why? And, and I had a very wise uh, coworker and he's like, Kim, why are you asking why? You see it's happening. You need to change and redirect what you do. Well, guess what? I, back to what you said, I looked at that desk and I looked at the situation and I'm like, I don't belong here. It's not that I can't do my job. I can't do my job with this person because no matter what we did, it didn't work out. And that doesn't make her a bad person, nor did it make me a bad person. It just wasn't a good situation. So I and went we, somewhere else. Like call it, it wasn't a fit. Yes, exactly. You know? and and, but I was, I was wasting so much time with the why. I never know why, and nor do I need to need to know why. Well, wasting time, yes. Wasting time, no. You stayed long enough to assure that it is not your place. Mm -hmm. So when you look back, even today, you say, I made the right decision. If you would uh, would have done too fast, you would probably look back and say, maybe I should have given it another chance. And No, you stayed, you didn't waste time. You just made sure your decision was your decision and solid. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we work nowadays, it is not difficult to get along with people. I always tell people, focus on your job. If the other person works more or less than you, it doesn't matter. Somebody is always watching. Yeah, of course. If the person to your left gets five cents more an hour, don't worry about it. Worry about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And I say again, perfect never happened. <laughs> Improvement, we can Always. make happen every moment. Mm -hmm. But perfect 
never happen. You're looking for perfect. You going to be into the end of your days disappointed. Expectations too high, disappointment becomes complicated. It's not simple anymore. So if I would apply to McDonald, I know I have to wear that silly uniform, company policy. I know I would stand probably in a hot kitchen and flip burgers. I know it's hot. So if I go into the situation, for me, it would be simple. I'm going there, it's going to be hot. I flip burgers, but I sing. And I make the best out of my day. Because I am aware what I'm getting into. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you know what you're getting into. It is work and it is in your private life. And I had a very fun discussion with a few friends and I said, you know, uh, Andrea, I don't know, you know, how would it be with, with, with somebody with you being in a relationship right now? I say, I don't know. Because I'm in a relationship with myself and I'm happy. So I don't know what an, a strange person would do going into a relationship with me. I say it would be probably difficult. Why? I said, first of all, I'm a grown up. I have life experience. Okay. I can smell bullshit around four blocks. So that already makes it simple for me. Uh, well, why, why, why do you think else? I say, because I'm open minded, but I'm set in my ways for things I know. And I say, what I do for a living makes it difficult for a person because I read that person, of course. When, when I have a, a coffee date or a dinner date or whatever, of course, this person is a stranger. I would put my ability I learned in my business to work to see with what kind of person I'm talking and who I met. I would be stupid not to utilize those tools. So mm -hmm. that's why I told my friends, that's why it might be difficult. Because you will, in a certain age, you will not settle. What you settle with 21, 25, 26. When you're over 50 and you have already a career and a personal life and career experience and personal experience with it, you take that along. You don't take the negative past along. Again, I want to say, make it simple. Never take the blood from the past and throw it on a new person. In a new relationship, don't take the disappointment and blood from a job you didn't like before and throw it on a new job. Because a new job, even you like it, will be miserable after a while too. Leave. People have to get it. And it is not so hard. It is really very simple. Past is past. So I go right now, soccer championship. Okay, Sunday is the final. It's England against Italy for the championship. So you go in a soccer game. You go to the goal to kick the goal. You trip. You get up and you chase the ball again. You cannot go that same way again and try it. You just carry on with the game. And that's how life works. Why do we always try to change the past, which is not possible? And when you were saying before, waste of time, that is a waste of time. That makes it complicated. Oh, Kim looks like, uh, man, when I was 19, I had a girlfriend. Kim has the same nose and she has. Uh, I, I, I wonder if she, no, and oh my God, what do we do to ourselves? Going back to the past, it's for ourselves, for our health, for our emotional health, and for our emotional and personal future. The worst thing we can do, we overload the back pedal of experience, it needs to be unpacked, and we put a roadblock in front for the future. Make it simple. Every person is different, period. Well, uh, 
uh, he talks like my ex, she talks like my ex, she eats like me. There's still other things they're not. Mm -hmm. And you become blind. You don't see the good things anymore. Keep it simple. And I always say, you have to learn sometimes life from a screenwriter. Because when a screenwriter develops the person in his script, he develops it like we see it. And we talked about that. Mm -hmm. I meet that person. Tall, short, fat, skinny, whatever. First thing. Round head, hair, green hair, no hair, whatever. Give yourself permission to meet the person without judgment. See, tall person, I think too tall for me. Maybe not. Let's take a second look. I like the smile. Give yourself the chance to explore. Give yourself the chance to get to know yourself by get to know somebody else. Make it simple. People don't realize if we meet a new person, we get to know ourselves better too. Not only that person. So speaking by all of it, it is a very, very positive thing and not so hard to take complications out of situations in our whole life. And when we say, be positive, I, I sometimes I really get annoyed. Well, I'm positive and I see the God and every day and every day is a good day. And I hear all this cheer leads. But when I look at the face and the life, it's not happening. Don't lie to yourself. Say, okay, I want to improve. Be aware that you want to improve. I have a few people in my environment. I am so blessed with because their life is so in order. Their life, they're happy with what they're doing. They're happy with who they are. And they're happy to who they're with. They're just doing the right things to take the complications out. They live grateful and humble. And that's, when I look at those people, I say, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I want everybody to feel wonderful. Don't deny it for yourself. It is really, it is our personal life. And our complications become other people's complications. And they will step back. People we can value. No matter how close they are to us, people have a reason in our life. People have value. If I don't share this value, that's my problem. If I don't share Joe Doe, that is my problem, not Joe Doe's problem. Yeah. It's my grand chance not to connect closer to Joe Doe. So take complications out of it. And it uh, has also to do with little things, the little heartburns that come up from the past. Let's remove that. Let's find the trigger points and get it out. And I help, help you guys with it. The happier life and the less aggression in our time is needed now. We need to calm down all of it for our personal health and personal happiness. No, I agree. I think I, I would love to like next week talk about that anger I, and, and in a positive way. Because I was I was thinking about that because like you said, all the memes and everything, it's kind of like, and they try to, that passive aggressiveness. And, um, and how it's like, well, you know, um, it, you're not supposed to take it serious, but at the same time, it's like, well, why did you put that? And I find myself um, in my own personal life, knowing people who are literally, they could be in the same room as you and they're posting these things and you're going, okay. Wrong, yeah. <laughs> I know where you're at and you're posting something that's, very um almost like like you said it's like i want to i want to state a fact or a fact i want to make it so that somebody's going to either attack or make me feel better about myself um i, I don't know it's kind of like we have to have this um opportunities to always feel like how many likes do i get oh i have to compete how many likes do i have or how many compliments do i get out of this and you know and and instead of us like you said 
being in tune with ourselves and our own little circle. You know, I have over a thousand friends. Yeah, it's nice that a thousand friends may like a picture I put, but we don't even know half of the, I mean, I don't even know why two thirds of the people. I mean, but the point is, is that I, I don't need to do that anymore, but I'm, again, I'm, I'm sharing with you because I can share with you. And that's what I love about being on this with you is I think, you know, you and I talk about our own hiccups and I know one of my hiccups is, is like, I'm so afraid. What do people think? Oh, what you're doing is stupid. I, you know me 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 not you but me like oh well this isn't your thing to do you're not that talented and and then I think that kind of in the back of my mind makes me not put my stuff out faster doesn't make me pursue it and I gotta stop that and today you you motivated me Andre you motivated me I'm well, gonna not worry about have, it we have to feel comfortable uh because if you don't feel comfortable that's when it becomes complicated I'm comfortable that's when I'm in front of this, when I'm in front of the screen with you, I'm comfortable. But then when I, I stop, then I'm like, Oh, are people going to like that? Or they're going to, I mean, not that your part, but my part, I'm like, am I, you know, am I doing a good, am I doing something good for Andre? I mean, I did, I overthink it. I literally I overthink it. Something for that. Every time you approach a bigger public with something, not everybody will like the topic. Not everybody will like, uh, how the topic is approached, they have their yeah. own idea. It doesn't mean they're right or they're wrong. Mm -hmm. We're putting out some ideas for people to improve their life, to cheer them up, to be more aware of what they can do. And that's what we do. And people who like it can take it, apply from uh, the second one and from the third one. It is not uh, uh, an IKEA assemble. Uh, manual what we give out here we give the people ideas we give them some background we give them something to think about it to feel about it to improve improve uh perfect is not happen uh and we don't have to be perfect we do our job already with what we're doing and i hope people like it and people apply some things and not get angry what we talk next time about it anger i wish everybody out there great days to come looking forward to see you and talk to you all again soon i am too thank you andre as always you really inspire me and um really check out his website check out his facebook page andre you really you i know we're running a little longer than normal but what you said is very important you care about the people. It wasn't, it's not a cha-ching, let me put the credit card in and okay, I, I here's my money. You truly love and care and cherish the moments that you are with that person to help oh, yeah. them. And that is something that is priceless. And so thank you. Because I know from my own experiences, I know how much I have improved since having the opportunity to know you. So you. please, I'll I mean, again, like you said, take this advice. Hopefully that, you know, you get a little something out of it. Have a positive day. Try something new. Just say hello to yourself and love yourself and accept yourself for who you are. So as always, I will see you next week. God bless and have a great day.